Okay, this is our update kit board. So everything on this here, all the update kit are here on this board. So it's quite a big job from the aircon. A lot of hole to drill, a lot of insert to put, a lot of piping to run properly at the correct place. So we have to follow all this page. They have much more than that, but that is the basic one. Also have for the engine, for the light, for the rear wings, for everything on the car. Everything is explained properly here on this board. Before the car don't have any aircon system, so this is the major update this year, the aircon system of the car. So basically, we have to strip all the complete car from the front to the cockpit to the back of the car. We have to remove the engine to fit all the line under the chassis, all the compressor on the engine, all the, the cockpit area and all the front area with the condenser here, running all the pipe through the engine and through the chassis. This year we got the new steering wheel, new steering, new hub, a lot of more function on the steering wheel. So I will explain to you later when we unpack the box. Here at the central console we got the bottom one, also new, much more function on that. Basically the two bottom one are aircon system, the two middle one are the multi-system, so we can modify with the potty every sensor, put it on, put it off. The top one are the pedal box adjustment and the spare button. On the diffuser, we also have this new blade to fix on. So this is one is the old spec, that one also, so two of them. We need to fit this one on, it's much smaller as you see. This creates less drags and less downforce. On the splitter we have some modification to make. So we need to make it more heavily. So we need to drill some hole and put some silicone. All this area, all around, it will be 20 kilo more heavy than last year. Okay, also on the front we have this damper system for the splitter. So basically, now we can go on the curve, left or right. We have one on the left, one on the right. It's, it's access the splitter to moving up and down. So we not damage the splitter, we don't damage the chassis, we don't damage any frame, and we can drive through the curve. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! This year we got the new update on the hair intake of the car. Basically, we have this spacer for five cylinders and the five on the other side. It makes the airbox a little bit higher, the pipe a little bit longer for much more torque. Before, this car had only the rain light. It was the old brake light of the normal road car. But this year, the FIA decided they need the homologate rain light. So we have to add this small LED red light. Basically, it's from FIA point. It's nothing with the performance-wise on the car. This is the new rear wing of 2022. It's much more big than the old one. It's different shape, with different gunnet also. It creates the same downforce, but with less angle, so less drag. Also, the mounting point before was at the front, now it's at the back, so less drag also. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off